So, let us now pray the novena to the Immaculate Conception. We all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are all all beautiful, beautiful, Mary, Mary, and and the original original stain is not in you. You You are are the glory of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You You are are the the joy joy of Israel. Israel. You give honor to our people. You are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Virgin Mother most merciful, pray for us, intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel. O most pure Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, From the very first instant, you were entirely immaculate. O glorious Mary, full of grace, you are the Mother of God, the Queen of angels and of men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen Mother of my Savior, Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords chose you for the singular grace and honor of being His beloved Mother. By the power of His cross, He preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by His power and love, I have hope and bold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me these requests. In silence, we mention our personal intentions. My Holy Holy Mother, Mother, I know that you were obedient to the will of God. In making making this petition, I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. So So grant that I may receive God's grace with humility as you did. As my final request, I ask that you pray for me to increase in faith in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in hope in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in love for the risen Jesus. Amen. O Mary, my mother, because of the life, death, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, The reward of eternal life has been purchased for us. Grant me through this prayer the strength to fight the temptations through the meditation of the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin and to discover and to merit eternal salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother of Hope. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. 
Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admi admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Remember, O most, o most gracious, gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known that, that anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought your intercession, intercession was, was left unaided. unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Virgin most holy and immaculate, to, to you the, the honor of our, our people and our, and our loving, loving protector, protector, do we turn with loving trust. trust. You, you are all beautiful, O Mary. In you there is no sin. sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words. The song of charity resound in our works. Purity and chastity abide in our hearts and bodies and the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you the word of God became flesh. Help us always to heed the Lord's voice. May we never be indifferent to the cry of the poor or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those in need. May we be sensitive to the loneliness of the elderly and the vulnerability of children and always love and cherish the life of every human being. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you is the fullness of joy born of life with God. Help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days, the comforting power of hope direct our steps, the contagious warm of love stir our hearts, and may our gaze be fixed on God, in whom true joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Hear our prayer, graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts, and may this divine beauty save us, our city, and the entire world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather as one family around the table of the Lord on this Feast of St. Andrew. We beg, for the, we, beg, we beg for his intercession that we may also bring others closer to Jesus. 
And so let us acknowledge her sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we, adore you, we glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified and one confesses with the mouth, and so is seen. The scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news! But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us, thus faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did. For their voice has gone forth to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. 
The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Please stand. <laughs> After me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. St. Paul quotes the prophet Isaiah in our first reading with regard to those who bring the good news. And Isaiah writes, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Maybe if we will use our present standards today, we will qualify those who have beautiful feet as those who have clean feet. Sila yung mga nagpapafoots pa. Sila yung mga madalas magpapedicure. O di kaya may manicure. Those who regularly have their feet treated. Those who have clean toes. Those who have soft skin on the soles of their feet. Yun nga ba ang pamantayan ng magandang paa? But if we will look at the meaning of those words of the prophet Isaiah, we cannot say that those who have beautiful feet are those with clean feet. Because if those beautiful feet mean bringing the good news, then it only means that those are feet that are always on the go. Kapag yung mga paang yon ay laging nagdadala ng magandang balita, ng mabuting balita, madalas naglalakad, maraming sugat, maraming kalyo, maalikabok. They are dirty feet, they are dusty feet because one cannot bring the good news simply by sitting idly or comfortably. We can only bring the good news if we move away from our comfort zones, we will only gain that beautiful feet, not because of any treatment, but because we have moved our feet and brought ourselves to those who need the good news. 
And this is the invitation for us as we celebrate the Feast of St. Andrew, the Apostle. We are all called to have beautiful feet. We are all called to be apostles. Because the literal meaning of apostle is one who is being sent. But we are not just being sent on our own. Because even before we are sent to share the good news, we are first called to hear the good news. We are first called to listen to Jesus. We are first called to learn at the feet of Jesus. And this is what our gospel would point us today. Even before Simon, Andrew, James, and John were sent to be fishers of men, they were first called to follow Jesus. Because if you will only go without learning from Jesus, then it is not about the good news about Jesus that we are bringing. We are just bringing news about ourselves. How do we look at our feet? Are those beautiful feet? Yun ba ang pamantayan ng maganda at malinis na paa? Pero sana, hindi yun ang pamantayan ng mundo ang sinusundan natin, kundi yung pamantayan ng mabuting balita. And if we will follow the standards of the good news on how to have beautiful feet, then hopefully we have also learned from the feet of Jesus because it is only Jesus that we will bring to our brothers and sisters. Please stand. Let us commend our intentions to the care of God the Father with the prayers of St. Andrew. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, called by God to be fishers of men, may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who called by our Lord to his service may respond generously to his call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick the sorrowing and the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Father, as we prepare to celebrate the incarnation of your Son, grant the prayers we make in union with St. Andrew the Apostle. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed be God forever. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life but what you by what you have accepted. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Andrew, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, my, under roof, my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word, and my and soul, my soul shall, be shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
प्लीज स्टैंड Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ, may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Prayer of entrustment to the Immaculate Conception. O most, most blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, you who were preserved from the stain of original sin, most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, to you also be endless praise, everlasting veneration, and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, you who have captivated our hearts, you have captivated the hearts of our people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith in our beloved land by your good patronage as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours, we wish to be yours, Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through and your most powerful intercession. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition on our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. We continue to pray for the healing of the whole world. And let us join the National Shrine of and Parish of the Divine Mercy in Marilao, Bulacan, who will lead our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 p.m. We may follow them through our Facebook page and through our social media accounts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.